I recently went to AMD's offices in Texas for basically a sort of tour around. I actually had one of these laptops with me. It was the last generation version of this, so it had the 6 series versus the 7 series processor in this one, and it was a fantastic experience. It really was great to have such a small yet powerful laptop on the plane with me to be able to edit and play games at the lounge and all that sort of stuff, so it was pretty fantastic. Now I've got one here to actually test and do a proper review on, so let's have a look at this and see if it's worth your hard-earned dough. Starting off with the specs, this model has an i7 7700HQ, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, as well as a 256GB M.2 SSD, a 1TB 2.5 inch hard drive, and uh, a GTX 1066GB. This is a pretty awesome configuration and means that overall performance is really very impressive. Now because that is a pretty high-end spec packed into what is a fairly small laptop and you still have to fit a big battery in there for decent battery life, which actually this one does have, you're looking at 3 or 4 hours of general web browsing use with about an hour of gaming use, although that is sort of FPS limited gaming, so bear that in mind. But in terms of temperatures, I saw a maximum of 98 degrees on the CPU with I think about 86 degrees on the GPU, so certainly pretty hot there. Especially when it comes to the noise levels as well because of that, this laptop, especially when running on full tilt, uh, full gaming, especially when plugged in as well, this can be a very loud laptop. Uh, certainly not the loudest I've ever heard, but certainly not quiet uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Taking a look around the device, on the top of the clamshell and quite a lot of other places on the laptop as well, you'll find some very nice brushed aluminium. You'll also find an illuminated MSI logo as well as a standard MSI logo, and actually a fairly comprehensive, although not too detailed and especially limited on the USB port side of things, I.O. Starting with the back, you can see the ventilation on either side, again fairly small there, and a single mini display port port. On the left hand side you'll find gigabit ethernet as well as DC in, a USB 3 port, an SD card reader, and a headphone and a microphone jack. And on the right side you'll have an HDMI port as well as a USB 3 port and a USB Type-C port. I would make a note though that unless you have something like this, the OnePlus 3T, which actually just picked up and we're doing a review on, uh, which has a USB Type-C port in the bottom, which you, there, in that case you can use Type-C to Type-C, uh, this really isn't the most functional uh, device in terms of USB ports. Obviously you're a bit limited here if you are having to use, say, one for your mouse, that only leaves one left, and then you might have to use a dongle, which, you know, if we're, we're the PC master race, we shouldn't need to use dongles here. Uh, but either way, it is still just something to know if you do need to use multiple USB ports at any one time. Opening up the clamshell, the first thing you'll see is the beautiful 1080p display. Now it is only 60 hertz, it is IPS or IPS-like, but has beautiful color reproduction and really nice viewing angles, so I've been really impressed, and overall I'd fairly recommend this if you are looking for a decent laptop that can do relatively colour sensitive work, uh, especially on the go and stuff like that, so this is a fairly high recommendation for the screen, although obviously not 144Hz or higher resolution than Full HD, but nonetheless still very nice. You'll also find the non-ISO layout keyboard. As a British person, it is quite annoying that it doesn't come in the ISO format, but nonetheless it is still very nice to type on, it's a chiclet style, it's uh, just as said, very nice to type on, the overall usage experience for me was pretty good, although I would mention that it does still take a, a fair amount of time time to adjust from a uh, you know mechanical Cherry MX Brown keyboard to something like this which is obviously considerably smaller as well and obviously a slightly different layout so that is probably something to note but is still as said a very nice set experience. The touchpad has decent palm rejection although it could be a little bit better here I think yeah, there has been a few times where I was typing with both hands and it did jump around a little bit but nonetheless uh, the actual touchpad itself when using it is very big for the size of the laptop. It features two finger scrolling and a few other gestures that you can turn on in the software and overall it's just a very nice experience to use. So what's this thing like for gaming? Well it's incredibly impressive, does a really good job obviously GTX 1060 and a 1080p panel so it really smashes it here but let's take a look at the results. Starting off with 3D Mark, you can see we're nearly at 10,000 points. That's actually really very impressive for the 1080p first strike results. And feel free to take a look at 3D Mark's website to compare this to any other system you fancy. In Dirt Rally, using ultra settings, we're seeing 76 FPS average here. So really pretty impressive. Obviously, this is at 1080p due to the panel being 1080p itself. Doom uh, running in OpenGL as Vulcan isn't working at the moment was 87 FPS running on ultra settings as well. So really very impressive there. And GTA 5 on very high settings was 115 FPS, so again, uh, a very good uh, overall usage experience, pretty fantastic if you're actually gaming on it, and I think could last you a decent amount of time if you're planning on uh, sort of future-proofing yourself with a device. In terms of Unigen Heaven, it was about 87 FPS average here, again on 1080p, uh, so really overall very impressive results, even if it is a little bit hot. 
So as you're seeing, this thing does a really good job at uh, both gaming and more professional stuff like video editing as I was editing on the plane home from Texas. So it's a really uh, a very enjoyable machine. And if you're looking for something that is uh, pretty small, very portable and very powerful, then this thing is pretty awesome. I would make a note though that it is still fairly loud and runs pretty hot as well. So do bear that in mind uh, if you are planning on picking one of these up. But I really do recommend the screen. It is a very enjoyable panel to use. So that is uh, a few sort of pros and cons for you. When it comes to scoring, for me, this is going to be a four for value for money with, I think, a five for performance. In terms of functionality, it's going to be maybe a four because it's very portable, great screen, decent enough keyboard, but obviously the temps and the noise does bring it down a little bit. In terms of styling, for me, it's going to be, I think, a 4.5 with a 4.5 Tectum GB score and a gold award. It's a really impressive laptop, and especially, as I said, if you're looking for something portable and enjoyable to, to you know power through your games or your video editing, then this is a pretty good shout. If you want to know any more about this laptop or check at the price when and where you watch this take a look at the links in the description down below i'd also appreciate it if you enjoyed this video if you get it in the subscribe button and let me know what you liked uh, especially about the laptop or anything else in the comments down below as well if you've got any feedback as well then also feel free to let me know down there too otherwise uh, feel free to check out some of the other videos here and if you want to support me even further then you can check out the amazon and overclockers uk affiliate links those really do help me out uh, just paying the rent and everything so if you could use those that would be fantastic and also the merchandise link for hoodies uh, t-shirts there's some texture baby stuff and there's some just funny generic tech joke kind of stuff so feel free to take a look at those and uh, yeah i guess that's kind of it hope you enjoyed it as i said feel free to subscribe there's a button over here for you and otherwise we'll see you all in the next video